special, special edition of the Crown Cast. And I know anytime we can talk something baseball related, it's right in the wheelhouse of our guys, Nick and Garrett Bernardo. The Novice Crown Cast, I'm Chris Honorado, and we have two special guests with us, a partnership, a collaboration uh, between Novice Clothing Company and Tall Order Socks, which if you don't know yet about this brand and this product, it is changing the way athletes wear socks, which is kind of wild, right? Because you just figured there's only one way to wear socks, but not anymore. Nick and G, you guys uh, are so heavily involved with this, and uh, I know you're rolling out uh, the Novice X Tall Order Socks, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah, we're fired, fired up, up. fired up to uh, <laughs> to be here with with the team at Tall Order. Um, Mike and uh, Lisa came to our volleyball tournament a few weeks ago. Amazing uh, tournament, and they brought their energy. They brought their height. Uh, it was just <laughs> great, great to have them out. And uh, we did like some specialty shirts to kind of just announce the partnership around this area. And those sold super well. Like I, I still get people saying, "Oh, we got the the Aaron Judge Tall Order Novice tee." And I was like, "Oh, well, wait till you get the socks." <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're really excited, and uh, this is going to be a fun podcast. Let me start, Nick, real quick. Let me just start with the Friedman family here, um, Mike. I'm going to start with you here. Uh, you you are tell us how tall you are, and how <laughs> difficult maybe the apparel search was growing up and then i'm going to ask your mom how many darn times she had to buy you sneakers in like the course of a calendar year as you were growing uh, but when did this idea come to you that um hey athletic socks need, need to be made for the really tall individuals out there it obviously fits uh the nba player just off the top of the brain but then when you get guys in baseball like aaron judge um and some pitchers certainly who stretch the limits as well it makes perfect sense. How did this come about for you? And, and why is the tall order product different than maybe some of the others that have tried this? Yeah. So just to pivot back, uh, this whole, this whole process started, you know, obviously growing up me being six eleven, I have a twin brother, Dan, who's also one of the part, one of the founders of the company. He's six nine growing up. We were always known as the twin towers. We were because of our height and just, the finding socks was hard. And our, mom, <laughs> and our mom could tell you firsthand, it's, it wasn't just clothing. It wasn't just shoes. Socks were hard. And it wasn't just the fact that we couldn't find any cool socks to wear. It was more, we couldn't find any cool socks that would fit us. And so this idea of, of socks came about um, in I would say the fall of 2016 when we, you know, I was working in banking. My brother was working in sales at Bloomberg and we said we wanted to do something that could fit this problem because we've, we've had it for years where it's not just athletic socks, dress socks, casual socks. And so we started the business in 2017 and we called it tall order. And then as the years went on, we started to realize that athletic socks were, were a major need in the market, especially it's for the big and tall. And that's why we pivoted. Um, we started out with these really cool, low-cut athletic socks that people could use for golf, people can use for lounging around, you know, going for a walk, the gym. And now, because of our partnership with Aaron Judge and his sock, and, I, and I'll let my mom explain the whole backstory behind that, we now make the performance gear sock, which is oh. which Aaron himself has called the game changer. And just to show you, this is the actual sock that Aaron wears on the field. As you can see, it has this, the technology. It has the grippers on it that provide the stability. So socks in that, in that aspect have not only provided us a, a platform of performance, of comfortability, but it also provided us with hope. And I'm going to give it to my mom to kind of give you like the backstory of, of the, of why we decided to be tall order and what we're doing now with Aaron and what we're planning to do and, and our relationship now with novice, which has been outstanding. Amazing. Oh, I'm on. So, um, yeah, as Mike was saying, th there was kind of two reasons why we kind of leapt into socks. The first reason was, as he said, 
nobody, nobody made anything for um, either of my guys. Um, but probably the more important reason was that we wanted to do something that um, where we could pay it forward for all the help we got after 9-11. We unfortunately lost my husband, Andy, in the World Trade Center on 9-11-2001, and people came out of the woodwork. I, and I still get chills mm -hmm. thinking about it to support us during that really dark time. And so I always used to say to the boys, it's going to be a tall order to pay this back. It wasn't, it was just sort of a, you know, a, a cliche we said in the house. And then of course they grew up and then they decided they wanted to do something to do just that. So we created the company and at the beginning it was all about big and tall because Mike and Dan, um, you know, couldn't find socks, but it very quickly pivoted to all because what we found out is that if you are the person in the house that's buying um, socks for people, you know, your sons or whoever, you don't want to have to go to two different websites. And so if somebody's a size nine and somebody's a size 16, you can get it all under <laughs> one umbrella. So that's what Tall Order did. And we gave a portion of what we made back to families facing traumatic loss, um, donating the money to an organization called Tuesday's Children, which was our organization that helped us after 9-11. And now they go into other communities that are facing loss, started with Sandy Hook and then Orlando and then San Bernardino, et cetera. And, and that's what they do. What happened with Aaron Judge was very serendipitous. It was really, it was not in the business plan. We didn't really plan it at all. And it was as simple as somebody, you know, making a, oh, I apologize. My, I guess my doorbell's on in Florida. Somebody's at the um, door. It's an order it's of four. Somebody's at the door. Uh, <laughs> um, so what happened was in 2020, uh, we were driving over the George Washington Bridge and the phone rang and it was Joe Lee from the New York Yankees and said, is this Lisa? I said, yep. He said, well, Aaron Judge is a big fan of your socks. And, you know, we didn't know that, but he was. And he'd like to know if you could somehow create a sock based on the technology that's in your current low cuts. He loves them. But make it, build it out with grippers, hot, more cushioning, more support, make it into a more of a support, um, a compression material, blah, 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 blah. And of course, after we kind of steered the car off the road, because like, <laughs> who is this? <laughs> what? Huge Yankee fans in our house. Um, of course, we went to our manufacturer, who is now our business partner, Isaac Ash from United Legwear and Apparel one of the largest privately owned accessory and apparel companies in the United States and probably in the world. Um, and so Isaac said, whatever Aaron wants, Aaron gets. We make the socks. It goes back and forth. He finally gets them the way he likes them. He puts them on um, April 6th of 2021, game against the mm -hmm. Orioles. Things have changed since then, obviously. It's been two years, yeah. but he goes three for five, four RBIs, moonshot of a home run. And that's it. So then he hands them out to everybody in the clubhouse. And I'm happy to report that today we are in um, 16, I believe, MLB clubhouses, a couple wow. of the minor league um, areas. And uh, the, the socks are worn by a lot of people, people the likes of Mookie Betts, Xander Bogarts from the Padres. Um, uh, well, also um, Will Smith from the Dodgers. Uh, uh, Jason Hayward, I think that's his name, mm. Dodgers, yeah. um, uh, Brandon Lowe, Tampa. I like it, 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 it's proliferating throughout Major League Baseball. So, um, we filled a need, and uh, Aaron was so pleased with everything, he decided to join the company. So, he actually owns a percentage of Tall Order, as does United Legwear now. And we are about to launch a new collection with him, um, different than what we're doing with novice, but um, uh, it's going to be some underwear and some uh, performance undergarments, as well as some low cuts and some fashion socks. So um, okay. we're calling it Aaron's top drawer. And it, that's kind of a cool thing. I like yes. that. That's the whole backstory. It's, you uh, can't make this stuff up. I, I say I'm going to be the Mrs. Fields of socks. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> or the Spanx of socks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. no. well, so yeah. I'll Go ahead, Nick. Uh, say, like, when we uh, initially had our first call, like it was just hearing their story and kind of thinking of ours and then telling them ours. And we were both kind of like, wow, there's so much synergy and correlation into how the story has played out. Um, but 
Yeah, I probably should should share a little bit about how we did get connected because um, it's also kind of a cool story, uh, kind of a, a, and a, a mutual friend of ours was at a golf convention, I, I believe. Yeah, okay, so down in, in Florida, and I believe the story goes that he was talking to Lisa and uh, – um, Mike, I don't know if, if you were there too, but yeah, talking to, to you guys. And then he mentioned our name to, uh, to Mike, uh, about just, we're, we're doing custom sportswear apparel. Anyway, I get an email maybe a week later or something. And it's from Mike, um, just kind of outlining the story of tall order and their partnership with Aaron judge. And, uh, you know, Nick and I are huge Yankee fans as well. Um, so it was kind of like seeing like the Aaron judge thing. And then I was like reading the story and I was like, is this, is this real? Like this, this is like, make it up. <laughs> I, I, I was like, this is unbelievable. So Brothers. I shot an email back. Yeah. Like there was so, you know, so much correlation that I was like, I got We got to talk to these guys. So we ended up jumping on a, a zoom call shortly after. And, uh, it was just hearing their story of perseverance um, with their father, at least his husband, um, and how they've used that to truly make an impact on other people and what they're doing and even what their name stands for, Tall Order, um, and thinking back to, okay, you know, novice is built on this story of perseverance um, and partnering with people that are trying to make an impact to the greater community. And we're like, this is a match made in heaven. I mean, it really, and their passion for sports. We're both huge Yankee fans. Uh, not that we don't, we don't want to sell to Red Sox fans, but we, uh, <laughs> we, we do, you know, we, we, we'll I was sell. at the game the other night and I was with Tyler Wall, who's the equipment manager of Tampa Bay. Cause you know, we're friends. I'm friends with everybody. Yeah. Actually, um, Daniel and and my husband Bruce, I'm remarried, played golf with um, Dave Roberts the other day because oh, wow. the Dodgers were in town and they love our socks. And then he took them golfing. That's awesome. <laughs> Stolen you know, still. Keep yeah. your enemies closer, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just been it's just been an exciting past couple months putting the sock together. We kind of just talked about how we could collaborate and it was saying, okay, novice is really saturating the team sports market in the high school, AAU world, um, and collegiate. And obviously with their partnership with Aaron judge, our demographic knows Aaron judge. Um, <laughs> most people in the world know Aaron judge at this point, but, um, feeling like, okay, let's, let's bring this sock to that market that we're working in. And, um, that's what we have our sights set on. Uh, we finally have developed and crafted this, this sock and it's ready to go. Um, so it'll be ready. I, I believe in the next week or so we'll have them. The first, uh, the first grouping, the, 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 yeah. the, um, the low cuts and the, and the, and the crews are coming in. The low Amazing. cuts and the crews. So those are more of the trainers that we feel like could be a great addition to any sports you know, any athlete out there on any sports team. So, um, but yeah, the grippers on the sock is like a whole new ball game. It's you a game changer. You wouldn't have. That's what he said. Oh, Nick, I want to get to the, I want to get to the business relationship in a second here, but let me ask Mike a question here. Mike, why, why novice? What was it about this company in Albany, New York, that you already have this incredibly well-established brand yourself? So why partner with Novice for this particular project? What is it that, that drew you to either the Bernardo brothers or, or just kind of the way they do business? You know, for me personally, what drew me to Novice was the fact that they are aligned with some of the things that we are aligned with. We're all about uh, providing gear that helps athletes perform at their highest level. Um, we noticed that they do charitable uh, causes and, you know, being at their volleyball event this uh, last month with um, the American Cancer Society was was a home run for me personally, because, you know, as we've talked about, uh, charity is at the core of our company. 
Yeah. And she was a natural friend. And the thing that I really appreciate is when I got on the Zoom call with uh, Garrett and Nick is there was just, as, as you guys said, we just had, there was a synergy there that was just, we just had to, we had to talk. And, <laughs> and, and since then, you know, we would talk about sports, talk about the products, talk about, we just, there was just a, a mutual synergy. synergy. And, and, and actually meeting your mom, you yeah. know, mm. I, 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 you know, if we lived closer, I'm sure we would have been fast <laughs> friends because, uh, you know, you guys, you know, have a very high moral standard and, you know, we do too. And, you know, it's, it's all about doing the right thing and trying to help everybody. And, and, you know, we're all very blessed and we know it. Yeah. So um, yeah. to the yeah. extent we can help other people and give back, that's, that's really, and so you guys, I mean, it was, it was, it, well, it wasn't like looking in a mirror, but it was very similar. <laughs> I met somebody that, who had a, a family dynamic that was very similar to ours. So it was wow. very just, just to add to that, or uh, just to add to that quickly, I know Scotty, our third partner um, down in Jersey, he's away this week, so couldn't make the call. But I know that right off the rip at, in that initial meeting, there was a, a synergy for sure, a connection that was just like, this, this is right, this is good. And the crazy thing to the whole story is, Lisa, you remind us so much of Scotty's mom. And oh, Scott's, really? And it's just like, and, and, you know, Scott's mom is not with us any longer. She passed in 2018 from a um, cancer. And she's, she's always been kind of the spirit behind the brand. And she was so supportive when we were doing this as a side hobby and you know giving us a big hug and kiss and you kind of came in there and kind of brought back mrs are you giving me the chills yeah i believe i believe we all have guardian angels and they throw us together for whatever reasons is i mean i i believe all that stuff and so oh we do too i take that as a big compliment she must have been very lovely yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah we uh yeah you know and yeah, I mean, we're just we're still amazed kind of by that. And so was she was she tall? Yeah, she I yeah. mean, and she was an so, avid sports fan. So she had two twin boys, one of them boys, being, yeah. one of them being Scott and uh, ultimate sports fan, loudest one in the stands. Like, yeah, just a huge <laughs> <That's> like <me. laughs> us at, early on. Like I when I was living in New Jersey, I got to spend time at Scott's house a lot and that's when i really got to know kathy k um and she would make homemade pizzas and all that but just always excited about what we were doing with novice and that's before we were even you know doing anything crazy big but she she was like our hype woman so it, it's just it's it's wild how god works you know he i know he's a mysterious is and that is like a something I know Scott would have loved to to be on this because he has been so excited to um, working with you guys. Yeah. So there's definitely more to this story than just the product. I know. Well, we're, we're, yeah, exactly. Mike, <laughs> Mike, you had a thought there. I didn't want to. I don't yeah, want to lose no, that. The thing I wanted to mention is that you know, as somebody who has played AAU, I always felt there was a really bit really big connection with that because AAU helped me a lot. You know, when I was a teenager and I was, uh, I wanted to do something, um, you know, year round and basketball and AAU just made perfect sense. So when I learned about uh, novice and what they do with the AAU programs, I said, we got to talk to them. I mean, this is yeah, just, yeah. it's perfect. So, and I didn't realize it wasn't just, you know, it's baseball, it's football, it's lacrosse, it's basketball, it's everything. So to me, it's just a win-win and that's why I'm, we're so happy to be partnering with these guys. They've been like family to us. It's like, we've known them for years. <laughs> we're, we're just so excited for, for this partnership. And we know Aaron is too. And, you know, we're just excited to get everything going. And uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to a, a fun and also successful partnership with you guys. <laughs> No doubt. Mike, why does this sock work for you mentioned basketball? And that's kind of where my mind immediately went with this particular sock is is keeping the foot and the sock in place in a sport where there is so much cutting and back and forth and and you get blister. I mean, th to me, it feels like this is the sock that avoids blisters. 
That's almost the that should almost be the pitch on this thing because it just keeps everything right in place. For me, who is many years playing basketball, I'm really into the no show sock. And if I don't lose him in my shoe, I've I've had a good day. And that's why that's probably my next order with Tall Water is the no show. But why does this fit basketball players really well? Well, it fits it's not just basketball, it fits all athletes. And one of the reasons, as you said, they 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 have so much stability. I mean, the grippers provide the stability that Aaron was looking for when he w- when he needed his sock. And what we realized is that when we gave it out to different people, we say, hey, try this on, see what you think, whether you're playing golf, whether you're running, whether you're on the court. You know. Pickleball, we sent we sent them to yeah. a, few, a few of the major league uh, major league pickleball players uh, were, were wearing them at um, they had a they had a big thing in Daytona and they were like flipping out. They thought it was unbelievable. <laughs> it's all about stability. It's all about comfort. And it's all about making sure that the sock fits and, and functions properly. Thank These you. socks check all those ba- boxes. And we're excited to bring it to market and to see the see everyone uh, wearing the tall order gripper socks, you know, knowing that Aaron Judge wears these socks. He Every loves day. them. And everyone else will love them as well. Yeah. I, j- not to be a name dropper, but I'll be a name dropper. Why not? Please. I mean, we've got basically the entire Yankee team now in the Sox. I know I sent you a bunch of photographs, but we've got IKF. We have Anthony Volpe. You know, not everybody's doing as well as they were, but we, <laughs> we have Stanton. Um, yeah. You know, I would say probably 90% of the team is wearing is wearing the tall water sock now. That's so it's awesome, pretty man. exciting. Yeah, Nick we, and G, are you guys ready to keep up with production here? Yeah, yeah that, that's actually why we have um, uh, United Legwear and Apparel, which yeah. is, as I said, the largest accessory company in the world. As a matter of fact, he just bought um, um, Scotch and Soda and um, Ted Baker. Wow. And yeah, he's he's big. Hurley, they own Hurley. They bought Hurley from Nike. He's got. He's actually going to have the largest warehouse in the United States in. Um, California and the name escapes me, but um, it's 1.8 million square feet. Wow! So yeah, there, that's, 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 there. Being, that's being built out right now. They just they just opened an enormous warehouse in Europe as well. There, um, he's a great partner for all of us. Yeah. we got to get you guys down to New York. I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We he he was potentially coming to the cat this year. Right? Yeah, yeah. He ended up having to go to California. Yeah. He was yeah. out. He was yeah. out out in California at the time. He's, you know, he's bu- he's a busy boy, but he is sensitive. We were at the office yesterday. We were with him. He's terrific. Yeah. So Nick and Gary, very this is and something- very very charitable, and that was That's why good. we partnered with him. So yeah. he was not our initial manufacturer. We were working with another company that was sensational, but they didn't have their niche was really underwear, not socks. And right. so they helped us get started, but we realized that they didn't have the capacity to do what we wanted. And then again, serendipitous, um, my husband, Andy, who passed, um, his roommate from college was playing golf with Isaac's father-in-law. Mm. How, the, how the subject of socks came up, I don't know. Wow. But this guy saying, oh, my son is Puma US, because Isaac is, he's been with Puma, their, their joint partner since 2011. Um, so he makes Puma socks and, you know, he, um, they're talking and my, the roommate, David, says, oh my gosh, you need to have him call my friend Lisa. You know, they, they would get along great, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, the phone rings. And that's how it happened. And we couldn't have found a better partner because, again, he's incredibly charitable. And he was for very familiar with Tuesday's Children, which was our initial um, yeah. charity because he had done a lot of work with them and had donated to them anyway. So it was just – it was all meant to be. It's awesome. This is something, guys, right, that's gonna that's just the perfect way for you to round out the full uniforms you're already doing for teams, right? It's I know you had crew socks available, but this is just the perfect way to say we literally do it from the top of your head to the bottom of your head feet, to toe. everything. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. right? That's it. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And Daniel, by the way, apologizes. He's been at uh, jury duty this week, so. Oh, gosh. <laughs> But I don't think he got picked. I spoke to him this morning. <laughs> He's wasting his time right now, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. He's got cool. the gavel on his socks. He's good. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'll wrap up with this, but Nick and Gio always leave it up to you for final word here. Um, Mike, who who has final say in in the business plan here with with mom involved? Does she still get final say on on what happens here with tall order? Well, you know, it's interesting because usually when you know, <laughs> obviously when I'm growing up, we will, we always have to do with the, what mom says. But what makes Not so our, much anymore? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, what's great about us is that I th- what makes us work so well together, despite in. in doesn't matter that we're family. It's just that we we really complement each other and we all really work together to make the best decisions possible. And that's what I love about the whole family dynamic is that we each have different skill sets and different ideas that when it comes together, it's just, it's a home run, literally. Perfect way to end. <laughs> and, and that's something that means a lot to me because family is so important. It's always been important to me. I know it's important to mom. I know it's important to Dan. And it's something our dad really preached to us as kids. Um, do we still have to do some things that she wants us to do? Absolutely. But <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we're, we're excited for this partnership and obviously continuing to guys enough get to know you guys. Thank and you guys. Memories. But yeah, stay tuned. Anyone anyone listening, the, the Sox will be arriving next week and ready for uh ready to be worn out in the field all the baseball oh, there they are uh, that's they, perfect they're marching across the screen yeah. <laughs> there they go lisa so. and dan i don't know uh you know what you thought this could be from a charitable standpoint but the fact that that you as a family have overcome the incredible tragedy you did uh to make this as as uh, as big as it is um to benefit so many other people a- incredible work by you guys it's it's an honor for me to be able to, to to do this with you um and i look forward to to meeting you really in person uh as the socks take off here with novice great right. likewise likewise it's an honor for us too you guys are terrific <laughs>